Hi, my name is Britta Vanderlinden, and I write a blog called Lymphedema Diary. I have primary lymphedema in both of my legs, and like many others with lymphedema, when I was first diagnosed, I was told to wear compression stockings every waking hour for the rest of my life. But I wasn't told anything else about compression stockings, like where to buy them, how to care for them, how expensive they are. I wasn't given a heads up on the side effects compression stockings can cause, like yeast infections, nerve damage, or how they can irritate bunions. But through 16 years of trial and a lot of error, I've learned to adapt to compression stockings. I haven't had a choice. Compression stockings are the only thing that allow me to function through my daily activities. But I'm not alone. There are millions of others like me around the world with lymphedema and lymphatic related diseases that rely on compression stockings to lead a more normal life. That's why today I'm beginning a featured blog series called A Leg Up compression stocking tips, what the doctors don't tell you. Throughout this series, I'll be sharing knowledge that I wish I had been told when I was diagnosed with lymphedema. So to kick off the series, here's tip number one. Putting on and taking off our compression stockings takes a lot of strength, energy, and it takes some time. So instead of doing it while seated in a chair, bent over like they do in a lot of the demonstration videos online, try doing it while sitting on the floor instead. But before you get on the floor, lay something soft to sit on. I recommend using a travel yoga mat. A travel yoga mat is thinner and lighter than a regular yoga mat and it folds up small so you can tuck it under your bed or in a drawer for easy storage or put it in your luggage for when you travel. If you don't have a travel yoga mat, any large beach towel will do. If you have trouble getting down to the floor, use a sturdy chair and take it slow. Ease off to the edge of the chair and take a firm hold of the armrest. Lower one knee down to the ground and start turning towards the chair while you lower the other knee to the ground, never losing hold of the armrests. Then lower one hip to the ground and then roll onto the other hip. Being on the floor gives you greater stability while you're putting on your stockings. There's nowhere to fall. And it also gives you better leverage. You can use your legs to push into your stockings away from you while gripping the stockings with your arms and pulling them towards you. And this mat is a great place to do a few stretches before you put your stockings on or after you've taken them off. Please share these tips, leave a comment, and sign up for email alerts on lymphedemadiary.com so you don't miss any future tips. My next tip will be on where to buy compression stockings. See you then.